All right, so the most shocking thing about this dishwasher is this. If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. Is Maverick is sleeping with it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the channel of the Roving Vets. On this episode, we're installing a dishwasher in our fifth wheel Grand Design Momentum. All right, so um, we're finally gonna make the upgrade that Bethany really, really wants, which is what, Rob? Dishwasher day. We're getting a dishwasher. We actually already got one off Amazon, so let's show you what we're so, doing here. For the whole time that we've had this camper, well, the whole time we've been doing full-time RVing, we have not had a dishwasher besides me. So, Rob finally decided he was okay and down with getting me a dishwasher. So, today, that is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be installing a dishwasher for our RV. Alright, so let me show you what we're working with. This is, you know, the sink area, so it's already got the setups. Yeah, there's dishes, a few. Our previous dishwasher. <laughs> So this is all going to have to be removed. All of these cabinet or these drawers are going to have to come out. So now I get to figure out where to put all that stuff. I have found a home for some of it. The other stuff, we just chilling right here and figuring out when you get to it. Because we don't really know how much room it's going to take. But this is officially our before. Before, it looks like this. Maniac. Whoa, whoa. Got the inspector down there making sure Daddy's doing everything correctly. Inspector Maverick. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Moment of truth. Is it gonna come out? Out of there. Got it! Winning! She's gonna pull them all the way out to take it off, huh? It's definitely a strange design. I guess the one thing I would say is they definitely did a good job at making sure there was no possible way for these drawers to come open while you're going down the road because you definitely can't hardly get them off, so. So the drawers do come out. I just didn't know how to work it. Well, then tell everybody how because if you need to figure it out, then uh, that would be somebody Gotta be 10% else. smarter than the equipment is okay. what they say. So um, on both of the drawers on either side, it's got a little black tooth right here and you push up on one down on the other side and it slides right off wow hey you gotta figure it out that's all that matters if you don't know you don't know yep now let's right. figure out the next step i'm gonna go get a saw and we're gonna start sawing some stuff up we've come to the fun part of the uh fun experiment part. power tools Maverick is sleeping with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Yes. Do you want earplugs? We have earplugs. Nah. So, on Ooh. second thought, yeah, we should have got earplugs. That's really loud. Really dusty is what it is. <laughs> Okay. Are we officially to the unboxing? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens right here. <laughs> Fragile. This is what we got too. This is about probably the cheapest option you can find on it. How is it? We'll test it for you and let you know if it's worth it or not. Let's see. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Now that that's over. Ooh. You gotta give it an awe, too. Ah. I am not gonna be mad about this thing. I'm so excited. October of 2023 will be our fourth in a camper. We moved into a camper October of 2020. Yeah, we did. Right when all the stuff was in the middle, in the thick of it, as you could say. Um, but the entire time we've ha been full-time RVing, I have been the dishwasher. So I am freaking excited about this, y'all. I hate dishes. Even my entire life, the number one cheer chore I hate the most always been dishes. So of this RV full-time RV lifestyle, um, I guess you could say the least favorite part for me is doing the dishes all the time. So. This is gonna make it amazing. 
interesting. I'm very excited. Got Rob over here pulling all the parts out and such. the staples on the uh yeah on the grand design but guess what <laughs> those things are pretty darn good staples rob struggle bus and getting them out over here finally got it finally got it. <laughs> now it was uh pretty opened up now now make maybe we can fit that dishwasher in there we got all the sawdust in there for sure <laughs> make way So we uh, cut it a little too short the first go around. So here's take two. We couldn't get the dishwasher all the way in. So maybe about a half an inch off, quarter inch. I don't know, Rob measured it. So here we go, take two. This is not a good way to do this at all. That didn't do good. We grabbed our wood, but oh well, it's done. We got a little bit, but that's okay. I can get some kind of girly something to fix that up. So what you doing on this part? Hooking up the supply line right now. Final hose. This is the drain hose that I had to modify because nothing fits it. Make sure you get your washer in there. we're in business I think we're all hooked up and ready to go um, I did disturb the faucet so we got a couple of leaks on that all but right just wanted to show you my dishwasher install here got all the connections over here put cutoffs for the sink while I was in there and added uh, drain line for the dishwasher up here had to modify it a little bit run it up and over so that it is higher than the bowls of the sink that way the water can't run back towards the dishwasher I feel like that's important should probably do that oh up there right here on the water lines to the sink now because I was messing around with the plumbing and moved them so I might have to address that now but I ain't even mad about that um, if this other stuff works good you know all right, so Rob started this project yesterday, and I knew he was going to put my dishwasher in this weekend. So, I didn't do the dishes yesterday. So, this way I actually have dishes dirty and ready. So, here we go. Yep. All right, we're officially loaded. As loaded as we can get. We got the Inspector Maverick over here making sure everything's going well. Alright, now we gotta figure out which setting we wanna do. What about Eco? That's light. Yeah. Glass. Baby. Balls. Speed. Six is speed. Mm -hmm. And seven. Rinse. And heavy is one. Normal is two. Yeah. And it'll get to 149 degrees on the rinse and drying. So, all right, here we go. Shot. So it happens. One hour, 50 minutes. All right. So the most shocking thing about this dishwasher is this. It's so quiet, and we don't have any of the air conditioners going on right now. And we don't have the air purifier going right now. Just to show you the noise level of this. And it's not. I'm impressed. I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm happy about it. Alright, moment of truth. The dishwasher's done. Here we go. I guess it looks like it probably does not dry, but that's okay. I ain't even mad about it. I'm just excited that it looks like it worked. Let's see. Clean. 
clean. We're good to go. I'm excited. All right, so officially we started the install on August 7th and got it done within two days because we had to go, well, we don't live close to a Home Depot really, so had to go get some things that we didn't know we needed until we actually started. But it is now September 29th. And a little over a month after we've got the dishwasher going, and I'm going to say I am still very pleased with this dishwasher. dishwasher and I'm going to say 100% I would buy it again, and I couldn't, I would not take back the fact that I don't have to do dishes anymore, and the dishwasher works perfect. So, happy about it. So, we're going to say two thumbs up. I only have one that I can use because I'm using my camera for the other one. Two thumbs up. We would purchase again. Love it.